have already shuffled and we'll be taking a look at the recent past energy between you and your person. We'll find out what's coming up. We'll take a look and see what the challenge is going to be and then we'll find out what the outcome is. So, Pisces, the recent past energy between you and your person. Well, we've got this Ten of Cups and it's with the Moon card. Now, the Ten of Cups is actually one of the most uplifting cards that you can receive. Everyone wants the Ten of Cups in the reading. It points to happiness, perhaps in a more mature, grown-up kind of way. Either way, it's a really good card to see in a reading. It speaks of a happy family life, even if you're single, to the overall well-being that goes beyond you, yourself, to include those that you're most concerned about. Your parents, siblings, children, your pets, and much more. You could also be spiritually fulfilled when you get the Ten of Cups. Once again, great card to see regardless of any question. Now to the Moon card. With this card, you could feel psychic, intuitive, more than usual. So it's important for you to trust your instincts, trust your impressions even if you don't know where it's coming from. Also, not that you need to be mistrusting, but it would be helpful for you to realize that when this card appears, it's possible that all is not what it seems. And if you feel you cannot trust someone, then you probably cannot. So go with your gut instincts. And if you're waiting on an answer from someone, it may unfortunately take longer than you would like for it to. Yeah, sorry about that. Yeah, so you have to try to stay patient when you get the moon card. So what I'm getting, Pisces, is with this recent past energy of Ten of Cups and the Moon card is that I'm getting that you met someone or you were dating someone or you were with someone who you felt was deceitful. You felt like this person, um, they could have been the type that had a hard time speaking the truth or they... You thought this person was um, keeping secrets. You just felt like something was hidden. And it caused you not to really trust this person. And for some of you, you thought you, you were dealing with a liar. Just a flat out, point blank liar. And... It's interesting because your life was going so well. You, you kind of like had it all with the Ten of Cups. Or maybe this is, for some of you, you wanted it all with this person. Um, happy life. Happy overall everything. Some of you, you already had this before you met this person. A good life. You were living your best life and then all of a sudden someone came into your world. Or you were with someone who just you just struggled with because it seemed like they were just full of lies. Yeah, felt like there were too many secrets. You felt like you were dealing with someone who who wore a mask. Deception, deceitful. But let's move on over. Let's take a look and see what's coming up for the two of you. We got the high priestess and it's with the king of cups. Now, the High Priestess, this card, it can mean that you're, you're in a phase where you're going to be much more physically attractive to others. This card is tied to the moon, to femininity, femininity and inspiration. It's also a time to rely on your, rely on your intuition and your inner knowledge rather than your conscious mind or your intellect. So it's important that you pay attention to any dreams that you have. If you keep a dream diary or a journal, it's going to be a really good idea. 
you know, with the high priestess, it's a magical time, mystical time for anyone interested in love. Yeah, you could find people literally, literally throwing themselves at you. But there is a problem with that. You'll attract all kinds, the good, the bad, and the ugly. And it's not always easy to tell which is which. Now, it's with this King of Cups. The King of Cups speaks of a balanced male and a feminine energy. He holds all the positive qualities of both masculine and feminine. Often, he'll indicate an actual person or a man in your life. Usually, if it's representing a live person, this type of person is really kind and loving. They'll probably or usually you will have hair on the lighter end of the spectrum, but it could go either way. Just know that you're supported by the universe in a way seen and unseen. Whenever you get the King of Cups in a reading, it represents kindness, compassion, as an element of pure and true love in your life, no matter what your situation is when you get the King of Cups in a reading. So allow others to nurture you. Yeah, allow, allow your person, allow others to nurture you when you get the King of Cups in a reading. Yeah, whenever you see the King of Cups or the Queen of Cups in a reading, just know that those are two of the most loving energies in the deck. What's in the cup? Love. So, coming up, Pisces, High Priestess, clarified by this King of Cups. Yeah, so like I said, um... You were with someone who you just didn't trust. Yeah, maybe t too many, just too many lies. Or just too many secrets. And it looks like things were going good for you anyway. And they probably still are. With this Ten of Cups that we just talked about. But this person, they could have shown that they could be reaching out to you. Um, yeah. Being kind. Wanting to maybe offer love. Maybe this person does have emotions for you, but they they got a bad habit of not being honest. Um, with the high priestess here, I'm getting a couple of, of storylines here. You might either decide to go silent on them because the high priestess will go silent. And they'll just sit really pretty. Or... Um, for a lot of you, your person is really attracted to you because the high priestess, like I said, it's about attraction, people being really drawn to you. So if it's not a physical attraction, they're attracted to your, they could be attracted to your inner beauty, your soul, your spirit. So yeah, but this person, yeah, here they come. If you're wondering if you're going to hear from them, yes, you are. They're reaching out with their cup of love. So, let's move on over. Let's take a look. Let's see what the challenge is. We've got the Seven of Swords, and it's with the Death card. Now, the Seven of Swords, it can be about someone behaving with less than ethical intentions. If you feel like someone is spying on you, then you could be right. Or if you feel tempted to dig through someone else's life, Unless it's that of your minor child who has given you cause for concern, then you just might want to rethink the impulse. Because we all know everyone deserves privacy. Seven of Swords is with the Death card. Now, when you get the Death card in a reading, you have to remember that it does not necessarily or even usually indicate physical death. In fact, it's considered irresponsible for readers to predict physical death because we're all creatures with free will. And such things are simply not written in stone. The death card simply indicates transformation and change. So this is definitely a time of deep transformation. Could be both internally, could be externally, or like I said, both. Changes in your life. Maybe some situations, things, and people that you've counted on or have gotten used to may no longer be available to you in quite the same way as they once were. 
Now, the transition can be very, very difficult for some people, even though the change is nearly always needed. So, your challenge, Seven of Swords, clarified by the Death card. So, like I said, your person, yes, they, they will be reaching out to you. Expect a phone call, a text, some type of message, or maybe they'll be knocking at your door. This person has emotions for you, and you probably didn't know it. Um, the emotions, they were probably hiding behind all the lies. So, coming up though, Yeah, I'm getting that for, for some of you, Pisces. This person, uh, they've been watching you. Yeah, trying to figure out what is Pisces doing. What is she up to? Because the Seven of Swords can be about, like I said, it can be about stalking. Yeah, but you, you think this person is maybe too manipulative. With the Seven of Swords showing up here. Maybe they played a lot of games with you also. Being strategy, manipulative. Um, maybe you felt, for some of you, you felt like this person used a lot of tactics. When the two of you were together. Or if you're still together, you feel that that's what's going on. And because the Death card is here, it's showing that you, you, you're, losing, you're losing interest or you've already lost interest. But they're reaching out to you, and they watch you. They keep tabs on you by um, looking at your social media accounts, see if you've posted anything new. Or maybe they drive by your house just to you know, get a glimpse of you. Your, your person, they do have emotions for you, but you probably, I'm getting a lot of you, you just didn't know it. Yeah, so let's move on over. Let's take. Take a look and see what the outcome is. Okay, so we got the Page of Wands. And it's with the Star card. Now, the Page of Wands, they can be warm, ambitious, high achievers. And if this is not an actual person, it can indicate the energy of easy, easy distraction. So it's important to try to stay focused. This card indicates that things you started some time ago, they could start to come to life start to come to fruition. It can also show a need for new things, new adventures, new approaches, new ideas. The page brings a positive energy, but because of the easy distraction and trying to stay focused, it's going to be important to supply the follow-through. Now, it's with a star card. With this card, you could find yourself feeling really inspired and more hopeful about the future than you have in a while. You could feel more confident that your needs are being met, whether it's emotional or financial, or both. They're being met. Just know nothing can be taken for granted, but it's unlikely that your confidence is misplaced. And this can also be a spiritual card. You could find yourself, at least for a time, feeling at one with all creation which it's not a common feeling, so we want to make sure to savor it. So your outcome, Pisces, page of wands, clarified by the star. Yeah, so what I'm getting is that for a lot of you, you've, you've moved on, or you want to move on. With the page of wands showing up here, and I'm looking at the high priestess, You've got other people interested in you. Yeah. Yeah, because the Page of Wands is about, can be also be about um, messages coming in. So you've got other people that, that are trying to be with you. The High Priestess is saying that you've got other people attracted to you. Other people are interested in you. They find you beautiful inside and outside or, or inside or outside. Or outside. Either way, people are... You've got people knocking at your door other than this person. So, yeah, 
So, like I said, this person, they, they want to come back. The person who you felt was deceptive. Um, they, like I said, they keep tabs on you. You've lost interest with a death card here showing up. You, and you're probably different. You're probably changing. You're probably not the same person that you once were when the first, when the two of you first met. So you've gone through some type of change. And I don't think that a lot of you really want to go back to the secrets, lies, games, manipula manipulation, and tactics that this person used. Yeah. So, you kind of like, I'm looking at the star card, I'm looking at the face of the person that's on the star card. He's kind of, it looks like he's kind of got, kind of got his nose turned up. I'm getting, for a lot of you, you're planning to be more selective about who you let come into your world, because this face of the star, if you put your screen on full, you can see he's kind of like got his nose turned up. Yeah. So you're not interested. You're being selective. You got, you have a lot of people fighting for your attention. A lot of other people that want to be with you. If you don't feel that way now, they could be coming up. So... Yeah, the star card can be about feeling fabulous, rejuvenated, hopeful about the future. Yeah, I'm getting a lot of you, for a lot of you, you've already let this person go. Because with the star card here, um, any grief of the past is released. Yeah, you've already released that energy. But here they come. Yeah, they're coming back. But you have options. Yeah, and you're on to, like, better things with the star card showing up here. Yeah. You're into feeling fabulous, and if someone cannot meet you halfway or meet you there onto your superstar journey, then you're I'm getting for a lot of you, you're just not, you're not interested, you're not having it. So, Pisces, that is the reading that I have for you. I hope you enjoyed the reading. I hope it resonates. As you know, general readings, they do not always resonate with everyone. Then again, if you like the reading, please comment, subscribe, hit the notification bell. That way you'll be notified when I post my next reading. I will also put a link below on the extended of this reading where I'll go over how you both feel about the situation. What's in the near future for the two of you? How you see yourself? Best case scenario? And what will happen between the two of you in the next few weeks? There's also a link below for personal readings if you'd like to try one of those. So Pisces, I thank you so very much for watching. I hope all of you are doing well and staying safe during this crazy virus season. Hang in there. It's going to pass. We'll all get through this. So stay strong. Take good care. Come back and join me for the next Pisces reading. Just in case this did not resonate, maybe the next reading will. Also keep in mind, when you get the readings, the roles, they can be switched. Yes, they can be reversed. You could be them or they could be you. And if you're not dealing with anyone romantically, the other person could actually be a friend. Could be a family member, a co-worker, or a situation. So just take the readings for however it resonates. Because like I said, these are general readings, they're not personal readings. So Pisces, I can never say it enough. I thank you so very much for watching. I hope you have a great day. I wish all of you happy holidays. I hope to see you at the next reading and take care.